Following breaking news, as I mentioned, out of Iowa this afternoon, officials there are confirming a shooting at a high school northwest of Des Moines with multiple gunshot victims. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell joins us live in the newsroom with the latest developments. Jesse, what is the update here? Chris, the Dallas County Sheriff's Office just wrapped up a press conference moments ago emphasizing there is no longer a threat to the community. He's investigating alongside state and federal authorities who are still working to determine how many victims were injured. The first 911 call came in at 7.37 a.m. This was the first day back from winter break after an alert from the school indicated an active shooter. It took first responders seven minutes to arrive. CBS political correspondent Ed O'Keefe caught up with two of the students who survived gunshots as they were reunited with their family. One teen says he was grazed twice while in the cafeteria. It was a text message this morning from my daughter and it was absolutely horrifying. Like this. One of the worst moments of my entire life, but the best phone call I got was saying that they were okay. School didn't start yet, luckily, uh, so there was very few students and faculty in the building, uh, which I think contributed to uh, a good outcome in that sense. But we'll have more information later on this afternoon. Now, the FBI and ATF are on scene to assist in this investigation. The Dallas County Sheriff said the suspected shooter has been identified, but did not say if they are alive or dead. And we will continue to monitor the developments in this case and share updates as they're released, as well as more on those victims. In the newsroom, Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News. All right, Jesse, thank you. Stay with CBS 2 for continuing coverage of that school shooting at Perry High School in Iowa. Look for updates throughout the day on our website at CBSNewYork.com and streaming at CBS News New York and we'll bring you updates throughout this broadcast as well.